Continuing coverage on the effort to reopen Texas. Bars are now set to open beginning Friday. Channel 5's Christian Colon joins us with how bar managers are preparing for the big day. It's the new bar life. No more sitting at the bar. And now the bartender comes to you. And this is all part of phase two. It's been a whirlwind of emotions for owners at London Grill and Tavern, but in a few days, a massive weight is getting lifted. We opened on Cinco de Mayo, and uh, we opened as a restaurant from the classifications that we thought we were. However, four and a half days later, we were shut down by the city and TABC following rules and regulations. But because of our TABC permit, we were red, which means we're 51% alcohol sales. Now, Chattanelli says they're only operating curbside dining, but starting on Friday, these seats are allowed to be taken after thousands of dollars were lost. Restaurants can open to a 50% capacity. Bars, wine tasting rooms, craft breweries, and similar businesses can open at a 25% capacity. Like with restaurants, those capacity limits do not apply to outdoor areas that maintain safe distancing. In a place where people usually get closer, there is a lot changing. Chattanelli says he needs to stay on top of health precautions because it's for his business sake, which is why he's taken out the draft beer to avoid cross-contamination and only given out disposable products. Hand sanitizers will be at the front door. Tables will be cleaned off after every person coming and going. There will be no bar stools at, at a bar top. It's clear on the checklist what the governor, governor mentioned that no bar stools will be available for customers at the bar top. So everyone will be sitting down at a dining table or in a booth. Governor's orders do not permit loitering at the bar or common traffic areas. No tables of more than six people and parties should be six feet apart. And for those wanting to get closer, close human contact such as dancing, Governor states is quote discouraged. This is why Chattanelli says he will no longer convert the dining area into what used to be the dance floor. There's a post time period where we lose a little bit of control and that's in any bar or nightclub that's available. So we will be adjusting our hours to see how the crowd is going to avoid any issues. We'd rather be closed. Let's say example 11 p.m. If we feel that's getting out of control, better you know what, let's close up. Let's get the next day coming through. Chattanelli says despite the governor just encouraging it, he will require staff to wear masks. From day one, our mission has been to use data and doctors to open Texas in a safe and responsible way that contains the spread of COVID-19. Chattanelli says he is excited to get back but urges those who are sick to stay home. If you don't come out the weekend, don't worry. We'll be, we'll be open next week and week after too. When it comes to enforcement of these laws, Governor Abbott states TABC should be monitoring and can suspend licenses. In McAllen, Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 10.